Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm showing you how to take a 2D object and make it sort of 3D in After Effects. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking a 2D object and we're gonna be adding a thickness to it so that it can be rotated and sort of moved around in a 3D composition and make it look still good. So basically what we're doing is this. We have this element right here, which is just my logo, and you'll see if we hide all these elements, how there's actually, it's actually just a 2D object, meaning that if we like rotated this around, so if we grab the rotate tool and moved it here, it would actually disappear once we get it to 90 degrees towards us. However, what we're going to do is we're going to make it so that we can do that, except have it 3D when we do that, so that we actually have this element that we can rotate and make um, sort of look cool. So that's what we're going to be going, doing today. Let's get started. It's not too hard of an effect to accomplish. So let's go ahead and create ourselves a new composition. Uh, basic composition is fine for this. Drag in the element that you want to make 3D, right like so. And then now what you want to do is you actually want to go over here and look for an effect. And this effect is going to be called uh, separate XYZ. So separate XYZ position down here in transform. You're gonna click that, you're gonna drag it onto your logo like so. And then now you'll see that what we do, or what we have here is the ability to just control the X, Y, and Z position from up here. And the only reason that we wanna do that instead of down in the position is because it allows us to use this, um, this expression. And what this expression is, is we're going to hold down the Alt key, we're going to click on the Z position right here. So we're holding the Alt key, click on the Z position stopwatch, and you'll see it goes red, and then we come down here and we can enter in a sort of um, a, an expression. And you know, expressions are just code that you can put into After Effects to sort of define your own functionality. So there's not a button for what we wanna do, so we're going to create basically a quote unquote button for what we want to do. So what we're gonna type is index and then minus one. And now what this is gonna say is that take the position and put it back minus one for every index number. This is the index over here. Why is this important? Because whenever we create this expression right here, there it is now it's created. Whenever we create this expression, that means now all we have to do is just duplicate this footage and it'll make it a 3D object. We don't have to go in and manually minus every one of them by one. So let's just do it right now. Let me duplicate this um, a ton of times so we can really see this effect. Okay, so I duplicated it 47 different times. Let's just do three more so we get up to 70. I'm duplicating with Control D, by the way. If you click on it and hit Control D, Command D on a Mac, it'll duplicate it. You can also hit Control C, Control V, which is copy and paste. So you can right click, go up to copy, right click, go to paste. So now we have 50 of these elements. That means that this one is at Z position zero minus index one. So it's at uh, position negative one. I don't know if it's zero indexing. So this might be zero, one, two, but it doesn't really matter. All we know is that this one, let's say this one is at zero or actually let's just say this one's at negative one. That means this one's at negative two, this one's at negative three, negative four, negative five, negative six, and we go all the way down, this one's at negative 50. So now if we go in and we create ourselves file new, or my bad, layer new, and then go into camera, click okay on what the default here is, we can actually switch this to two views. And what we're doing here is if we just try to rotate these right now, the Z position is gonna push backwards to what we're looking at right here. So in a 3D space, you need a camera to sort of justify or show how you're manipulating the space. Otherwise, if we tried to rotate all of these at the same time around, what we do is we'd actually just turn all of them um, sideways and then they would be, sort of be lined up sideways off into the infinity. We don't want that. We don't want things to always be pushing back to the Z. We want that depth added. So we're going to add a camera in here. So it's just up the layer, new camera. Then I switch the views to two so I can see the camera over here on the left. And now when we click this camera and we rotate it around, it's gonna take a second to load here because of how much sort of data there is. We're going to take it and we're gonna rotate it. Oh, and also very important is that these layers need to be 3D over here. So let's just click on the first layer right here, hold shift, go all the way to the bottom, and then just click the 3D button right here. And it'll go ahead and add 3D onto all of them. If you don't see this 3D, just toggle switches and it's right here um, over in the 3D sort of box right there. But anyway, once they're all 3D, once their positions are changed, you'll see that once we move this camera over here, we now have an actual object that is thick. And the reason that it looks like we've created you know, a thickness to it is because all we've done is just sort of stacked a bunch of them together. And since the borders are always going to be the borders, it's just going to create a sort of 
um, almost like you stacked a bunch of pictures or maybe some pages in a book, all the border colors are gonna go together and you're going to get an object that actually looks 3D. So now when we rotate it around, you'll see that this object actually looks like it is 3D. Now the only angle that this will sort of break is directly across from it. So just sort of, uh, just sort of know that if you go fast with some motion blur, you won't even be able to see that but you'll see that we now have this sort of object that has been created and we didn't have to do any sort of like advanced 3D renderings or anything like that. So that is how you do it. It's really simple, really uh, easy. I mean, we took a, a 2D image with a couple of buttons. We are now able to bring it from a 2D, you know, sort of lifeless object into a, a fun 3D object like so. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and dump in the comment section below or on our website at adobemasters.net. If you want to see more videos similar to this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I make a video every other day on Adobe-related content. And until next time, guys, see ya.